it's Sam, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, I decided to do a drugstore makeup tutorial. I actually never done this before, like actually do all of my face with make, uh, drugstore makeup and I actually realized that I use way more like drugstore makeup than I use like high end. Um, I actually did use a couple things um, because I actually couldn't find my actual products um, and like I mean you guys are gonna find out what I used uh, but this is the look that I came out with today I, I am loving how it turned out I was really surprised by some of the products that I used I remember why I loved some of those products as well before we get started please don't forget to subscribe and the little button down there and if you want to know how I got this look then just keep on watching okay so before I start my makeup um, I picked up this mask at Walmart and I wanted to try it it's Black Charcoal Hydrogel Mask. It is a detox and moisturizer and it revitalizes re your, um, your skin. It's uh, the potent anti-inflammatory benefits of charcoal combined with red algae extract in a moisture locking hydrogel mask for smoother, hydrated, and supple, supple skin. Um, too many words for it's too early in the morning. <laughs> Just put it. And I think, yeah, it says 15 to 20 minutes. So we can have a really nice and smooth canvas for our makeup today. Oh, it smells good. Oh, wow, that's like really hydrating. Like, I can already feel that. Okay. And then... Oh, 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 it fell. Nice. Okay. Hey Siri, put a 15 minute tra uh, timer. Okay, 15 minutes and counting. As you guys can see, I already have my eyebrows on and I decided to just use the products that I always use for my eyebrows because the only product I had for eyebrows um, was this NYX eyebrow gel and this is in the color chocolate and it has a lot of like uh, red undertones and unfortunately I tried and it would like my eyebrows looked red. So because I'm blonde like I couldn't wear like reddish brownish eyebrows. So um, I decided to just um, wear whatever I used which is my Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade in the shade soft brown. And then I use for the um, beginning of my brow I used the cup brow by benefit in the color uh, number three. So. That's what I used for my eyebrows. I'm sorry if you guys hear any construction. Um, there you have, I don't know what they're fixing okay. outside. For primer, I'm gonna take this Maybelline Master Prime primer, and this is uh, the green one, which is for blur and redness. As you guys can see, I have a lot of redness right here in my cheek area, um, and this used to be like my holy grail. I wanna say a couple months ago, and then I just started using moisturizer, so I'm gonna use this today, and then I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Uh, Poreless Primer as well. I believe this is like a dupe for the um, Tasha primer. I saw, I think, yeah, Jeffrey Jeffrey Star did the like the video, and he like raved about this primer so much that it was constantly like selling out of like old time stuff. So I found it the other day, and I was like, I need to pick it up. It is a really, really, really nice primer. If you have um, kind of big pores like in this area, like I do, um, I really recommend this primer. So right here on my cheeks. And then I'm going to take that e.l.f. primer and I just take a little bit, just a tiny bit and then kind of like press it on my cheeks and usually where I have um, more like the pores are more noticeable, I'm like pressing, pressing it in. Excuse my nails, I really need to get them, I really need to like fix them. My I forgot to buy a top coat and my nails are like chipped like really really bad I'm gonna just put a little bit of chapstick because my lips are a little bit dry so for foundation I'm gonna take my favorite foundation this is the NYX can't stop won't stop I'm just using a uh, beauty blender I actually um, love the um, flower beauty sponge uh, but mine like ripped and yeah, but I need to pick up another one. I really like that one I used to love the real techniques one. I actually picked up that sponge um, I want to say like two weeks ago, and I was using it and I, it's really like firm and I just 
I don't know, I didn't like it. It was like really stiff and I don't know if they change the way that they like make them now or I don't know what happened but it was more stiff and I just didn't like how it was like applying my makeup. For concealer, I'm just gonna take my Shape Tape uh, concealer. I just don't know where I left my um, Maybelline um, concealer. I had it right here and I don't know, I have no idea where it is so I'm just gonna take this and apply it now to set my under eye I'm gonna take my Maybelline fit me powder and then to set the rest of my face I picked up um, the wet and wild mega glow contouring um, palette and I'm trying to open it and I'm gonna take that yellow shade that this palette has. So I'm just gonna take from this white and white palette and I'm gonna set the rest of my face with it. And I'm kinda like using like tapping moist, moist. I'm just using tapping motions to set that in place. To contour from that same palette, I'm gonna take the shade, um, the contouring shade, which is this one right here. And this is the shade Dulce de Leche. I'm just going to take that and bronze up my face a little bit. Now for blush, I'm going to take, this is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade um, Bellissimo Bronze. And it's just a beautiful shade with um, like gold reflexes on. And it gives you a really beautiful sheen. This is like perfect for the summer as well. Such a beautiful shade. For highlight, I'm going to use my favorite highlight ever. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome uh, Metallic Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. And this is how much this highlight has, how much love this highlight has received. Like, like I love it. You can see that I hit pan because this is such an amazing highlight. Um, before, before I got like obsessed with my Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight, um, this is like what I would wear every single day. If you guys are not watching The Good Doctor on Hulu, oh my god, it's so good. I still need to catch up on Grey's Anatomy. I haven't watched and I need to like get back in on it because it's such a good show too. But The Good Doctor, look at that highlight. Oh my god, like it's so pretty, it's so reflective. It looks like wet. That's like my favorite type of highlight too, wet. I'm sorry, I like, didn't finish my sentence. Um, so yeah, like if you guys haven't watched The Good Doctor on Netflix, it's such a good show. I'm almost done watching season one. I am so excited to use this palette right here. This is Wet n Wild and it's in the shade Rose in the Air. And it's such a beautiful palette, um, right up my alley. I am obsessed with this color right here. It looks like the perfect brown, like, camel color. And it's so, oh, I'm so excited. So, I saw this one. I was picked, I was going to pick up another Rimmel, um, palette. Forgot the word right there. Uh, but then when I saw this one, I was like, this is so perfect, like, right up my alley like the cur the colors are beautiful I'm just taking this shade right here and applying it all over my crease and I'm just slowly building that color my camera wasn't recording so this is all I've been doing just using circular motions to blend that color in my crease and this is a morphe 535 really fluffy really nice to blend those colors in the crease I'm like really excited. I'm gonna take my first seminar and like makeup class with um, Glamour by Hasway. Hasway. Um, I followed him on Instagram and um, he's doing a show here in San Diego, like a seminar class. 
and I am super excited. Now with a um, E25 by Sigma brush, I'm going to take this more orangey color right here and start building that on top of the first transition color. And these shadows are, as you can see, really, really pigmented. Really nice. And now I'm trying to build the color up on my crease. So I'm just using uh, wiper shield motions like this back and forth. And kind of like scooping the color upward. Just because I want to bring out that uh, transition shade we used earlier, I'm going to take the Morphe M514 and I'm just going to blend a little bit more of that transition shade outside. To deepen my outer crease, I'm going to take this color right here. And I'm going to take a Morphe M433. Going back with that Morphe M535 and just blending all these outer colors together. Using circular motions. To put on my crease, I'm going to take this color right here, which is a shimmer. Right here. And it has like a gold sheen to it. So I'm going to take that and apply it with my finger, or right here, right in the middle of the eye. And I'm going to take that same shade and apply it as my inner corner. This is a Morphe E18. I'm going to go and do the same thing on my lower lash line and I'm going to start by blending that first transition shade and then I'm going to go in with this, uh, this one right here and then this one. And I'm just going to use the same brush for all those steps. This is a Morphe M506. I really like this brush to blend my lower lash line. It's super fluffy and it just blends so nice. With this shade right here, I just went on the really outer part of my eye right here here i'm gonna take the essence lash princess and this is like my favorite mascara ever like ever it's so good so i'm just gonna apply that and then of course i'm gonna wear some lashes yeah i think we'll be okay got your mother in a lie she said she pushed the bathroom door open the door pulls in Seen a telenovela. What? And you're adapting one? Girl, sit your ass down. I'll turn on the subtitles. Now I'm going to just pop a little bit of this um, cream shade eyeliner. And this is from Rimmel. The Scandalized Waterproof in the shade Nude. And I'm just going to put that on my waterline. For lips, I'm going to go, go super basic and I'm just going to put a little bit of liner. This is the Jordana Nude or Bare Blush Liner. Bare Blush Liner. They're so creamy.
So this is it for this drugstore makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new, maybe? Um, I really, really enjoyed all the products that I used today. I was so surprised with that palette from Wet n Wild. I mean, they have really good products in their line. Um, I actually hadn't used a um, eyeshadow palette from them. So I was really surprised and I really, really like how this turned out. If you want to know all the products that I used in today's video, they're going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there. And until then, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!